These are the untold effects that coffee has on your body. Coffee is one of the most beloved beverages around the world. Its unique aroma and flavor have won the hearts of millions, making it an essential companion in the morning and throughout the day. However, beyond being a source of pleasure and energy, it's important to understand how coffee affects our body, especially our liver, one of the most vital organs. The love for coffee goes beyond the simple act of drinking. It's a ritual that involves everything from selecting the beans to the moment of enjoying the brewed beverage. Along with this passion comes the need to understand its health impacts. Despite the benefits that a cup of coffee can offer, such as increased energy and improved concentration, it is crucial to understand how it interacts with our bodies. Our liver, for instance, is essential for various vital functions, such as purifying blood, digesting fats, and eliminating toxins. Studies show that moderate coffee consumption can protect the liver from diseases like cirrhosis and cancer, as well as aid in recovery from intoxications. This is due to the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties present in coffee. On the other hand, our current lifestyle often leads us to develop habits that shorten our lifespan. Although the liver, heart and brain are organs designed to function for centuries, our harmful behaviours, such as poor diet, lack of physical activity and excessive alcohol consumption, mean that our life expectancy is much lower. Therefore, understanding how coffee can be an ally or a villain in our health is crucial for making more conscious decisions. Consumed in moderation, coffee can contribute to a longer and healthier life, but it is essential to balance it with other healthy habits to fully enjoy its benefits. After all, our goal should be to live well, enjoying each cup responsibly and with knowledge. When you do not consume coffee daily, you miss out on a good amount of nutrients and micronutrients, such as vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. Coffee offers more than just an antioxidant effect, it is much more than that. Research shows that coffee improves physical activity, brain function, and reduces the risk of various chronic diseases, such as type 2 diabetes and Alzheimer's. By not drinking coffee, you forego all these significant health benefits. Coffee has a fascinating history that begins in the mountains of Ethiopia, where, according to legend, a goat herder named Kaldi discovered the energizing effects of coffee cherries after noticing that his goats became more alert when they ate them. From there, coffee spread to the Arabian Peninsula, where it became an integral part of Islamic culture, consumed in religious and social ceremonies. In the 17th century, Venetian merchants brought coffee to Europe, where it quickly became popular. The first coffee houses appeared in cities like Venice, London and Paris, becoming centers of intellectual and social discussion. The Industrial Revolution and urbanization accelerated the demand for coffee, establishing it as an essential beverage for urban life. Coffee reached the Americas during the colonial period. In the early 18th century, the French introduced coffee to Caribbean islands like Martinique and Jamaica. Shortly after, the Portuguese began cultivating coffee in Brazil, which quickly became the world's largest producer. Coffee cultivation in the Americas grew thanks to the hard work of slaves and later immigrant workers. The globalization of coffee continued to expand its popularity. It became a valuable commodity in international trade, influencing economies and societies. Coffee's popularity can be attributed to its flavor, aroma, and the stimulating effects of caffeine, which provide an energy and concentration boost. Additionally, the cafe culture promoted coffee as a social beverage, an invitation to conversation and human connection. Today, coffee is one of the most consumed beverages in the world, present in almost all cultures and societies. Whether it's a simple cup in the morning or an elaborate espresso, Coffee continues to be an essential part of daily life for millions of people, celebrating not just its rich history, but also its ongoing role in modern society. Coffee is a nutrient-rich beverage that offers a variety of health benefits. It contains B-complex vitamins, such as B2 and B3, minerals, such as magnesium and potassium, as well as bioactive compounds like antioxidants and polyphenols. These components make coffee not only a tasty drink, but also a nutritious one. After consuming a cup of coffee, the body experiences a series of positive effects. Caffeine, the main active component of coffee, stimulates the central nervous system, increasing energy, improving concentration and alertness. Moreover, 
Coffee can enhance physical performance by releasing fatty acids from adipose tissues, which are used as energy during exercise. Coffee significantly affects mood. Thanks to caffeine, it stimulates the production of hormones like dopamine and serotonin, which are responsible for feelings of pleasure and well-being. That's why many people feel happier and more energetic after drinking a cup of coffee. Additionally, caffeine can help combat mild symptoms of depression, providing an extra boost throughout the day. Another important benefit of coffee is the protection of neural cells. The presence of antioxidants and bioactive compounds in coffee helps protect neurons against damage, which may reduce the risk of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. This neuroprotective effect is one of the reasons why moderate coffee consumption is often associated with better brain health. The rich composition of coffee beans also contributes to heart health. Coffee contains antioxidants and organic acids that are beneficial for the cardiovascular system. These compounds help reduce inflammation and improve the function of blood vessels, which can lower the risk of heart diseases such as heart attacks and coronary artery disease. Moreover, coffee can improve blood circulation and the elasticity of arteries, promoting a healthier heart. Coffee is a powerful drink that brings numerous health benefits, especially for the liver. It helps combat serious issues like cirrhosis, hepatitis, and liver cancer. The antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds present in coffee play a crucial role in protecting liver cells, helping to prevent and reduce damage caused by these diseases. Additionally, regular coffee consumption decreases the risks of fat accumulation in the liver, a condition known as hepatic steatosis, which can lead to more serious complications. Coffee is also effective in protecting the liver from alcohol poisoning, helping the organ recover more quickly from damages caused by excessive alcohol consumption. Epidemiological studies have shown that drinking three to four cups of coffee a day can significantly reduce mortality among people with hepatitis C and HIV. This finding is particularly important as it suggests that coffee may offer a simple and affordable way to improve the quality of life and increase the longevity of these patients. Additionally, coffee reduces the risk of various types of cancer by up to 10%. This includes not only liver cancer, but also other types, thanks to its antioxidant properties that combat free radicals and protect the body's cells. One of the main advantages of coffee is that it stimulates bile production, which improves digestion. This is particularly helpful for breaking down fats, aiding in the digestion of food and nutrient absorption. Moreover, coffee can speed up metabolism, providing more efficient calorie burning. Coffee brings many benefits to the body, but it can also have some adverse effects if consumed in excess. Drinking too much coffee can lead to issues such as anxiety, insomnia, nervousness, and increased heart rate. This happens because caffeine is a powerful stimulant that can overwhelm the nervous system and interfere with sleep, especially if consumed in large amounts or close to bedtime. People with heart conditions, such as hypertension, arrhythmias, or heart diseases, should limit coffee consumption. Caffeine can temporarily raise blood pressure and cause palpitations, which can be dangerous for those with existing heart conditions. Additionally, those suffering from gastritis, stomach ulcers, or acid reflux should avoid drinking too much coffee, as it can irritate the stomach lining and exacerbate these issues. Besides caffeine, coffee contains other compounds that can irritate the stomach, such as chlorogenic acids. These acids can increase the secretion of hydrochloric acid in the stomach, worsening inflammation and symptoms of gastritis. Drinking coffee on an empty stomach can intensify these effects, as there is no food to buffer the action of gastric acids. For those already suffering from gastritis, it's advisable to moderate coffee consumption or opt for less irritating alternatives, such as decaffeinated coffee or herbal teas. Another tip is to avoid drinking coffee on an empty stomach and always pair it with foods that can neutralize the acidity. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should also consume coffee in moderation. Caffeine crosses the placenta and can affect fetal development, as well as pass into breast milk and cause irritability and sleep problems in the baby. Therefore, it's advisable to limit caffeine intake during pregnancy and breastfeeding. People with anxiety disorders or insomnia should be cautious with coffee.
caffeine can exacerbate anxiety symptoms and make it even harder to get a good night's sleep. Similarly, those who are sensitive to caffeine may experience negative side effects even with small amounts. Finally, it's important to remember that excessive coffee consumption can lead to dependence. Stopping coffee consumption suddenly can cause withdrawal symptoms such as headaches, fatigue, and irritability. Therefore, it's essential to consume coffee in a balanced manner, enjoying its benefits without overdoing the dosage. Thank you very much for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to learn more about your health and diet. Share this video with your friends and thank you for the comments and support. If you want to continue navigating knowledge about your health, I invite you to watch the video that is now appearing on your screen. See you there.